Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Lena and I'm a haircutting specialist and on this channel we talk about hair so if you like that kind of content make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it helps with growing this channel. In today's video we are going to be comparing a haircutting set that I got on Amazon for $9, $20 to ship to Canada versus my $350 cashew shears that I get from the States but it is made in Japan. We are going to be putting putting them head to head and we are going to be cutting my mannequin's hair. So let's see which one is going to be the winner. Okay, so these are my professional shears that I use in the salon. These are the shears that I got in school. They are only five inch and these are great because they fit my hand perfectly. So these are six inch. These are the ones that I use in the salon. I absolutely love them. They're so smooth, they glide beautifully. These are Japanese steel. These are semi-convex blades. So they're not straight blades. You don't want a straight blade. The convex ones are really, really great. They curve a little bit. They're just absolutely gorgeous just to look at. Your professional shears will always come with this leather cloth that you are meant to use to polish off your blades when you're done. So let's go ahead and open my Amazon package. So excited to open this because I literally have no idea what to expect. Okay. So this is the cape. Okay, pouch is okay, it's not leather, it's plastic. Comes with this little felt piece of cloth that's not totally clean. It's not leather, it's kind of like corduroy, but it's it just feels fake. It feels actually like more like polyester. Oh, and this is, oh, this one also has a razor. Okay, uh, I don't know how to feel about this. So the blades are far from like the comb part. Probably wouldn't use this, maybe, maybe around the edge. Actually, I'm going to try this in a second on a mannequin. There's a couple clips here. Oh, these aren't bad. They're okay, a little cheap. They're not very strong. A couple combs, also very, very cheap. Um, you don't want your combs to do this. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Ooh. I, oh my God, oh my God. Um, okay, so first thing I feel is that they are very lightweight and they, this is extremely cheap. This is supposed to help you tighten your shears. So if they're too loose, you just turn this around, but it's not turning. When I'm closing the blade, it's smooth here and then it cuts really, really sharp here. So they're actually, the blades are way too close. They're not supposed to be that close in the middle. They're loose here and then they're kind of looser at the tip. You can see all of the abrasions here from opening and closing. If your blades are too close together, then this blade is going to be eating away at this blade. I need to loosen it up a bit. I just don't know how. Yeah, I can't open this. Okay, so we'll just use it like this. The thinning shears, I'm guessing, are probably pretty bad. <laughs> That's too bad, I was really excited for this. Oh, these aren't bad. These are much, much better. They're not as tight as these ones. These are just super tight. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try cutting real hair with this now. Let's see how the scissors perform. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, okay. Oh! You guys, it's not bad. Okay, you know what? These pass the test. These are not bad at all. These actually cut straight. So um, yeah, yeah, these work really, really well. Okay, so now we're using my beautiful cashews. So you can see that these are very buttery, they're very smooth to cut with. And now I'm back to the Amazon shears. Yeah, see, I don't know how to describe this, but you just gotta be careful when you're cutting that you take smaller sections because it can't take a large section. I can take really big sections with my cashews because they're buttery and they're professional. But if you're going to be using these Amazon shears, make sure you take very, very thin sections as you're cutting. Oh, see, so it doesn't take everything at the front as I thought. These are not sharp. 
but they do cut okay. Like if you're just gonna do hair at home, I think these will be fine. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of length here. Yeah, this is, these are not bad actually. I just can't imagine them ever lasting more than like, I don't know, maybe 10 haircuts. Cause you can't get them sharpened. They're way too tight. And if they're too tight, they're bad on your wrists. You don't want your wrists to suffer if you're pushing too hard with your thumbs. So I would say like, keep these on hand for emergencies, but I just wouldn't recommend them. I'm gonna quickly test the razor that came with this package. I'm just gonna grab some hair here and I'm just gonna go ahead and razor. Can you guys hear that? Ow, that hurts. This is not sharp. I'm gonna try the other side. Yeah, these are not sharp. I wouldn't recommend you use them. The hair is getting caught in here. Let's try this thinning shears. Okay, those are not bad. So you can, oh, these are actually not bad at all. I'm hoping the cape actually is something I can use. Oh. What? <laughs> are you supposed to tie this? What is this, an apron? It's supposed to be Velcro or like a little clip. Okay, oh, I shouldn't have expected anything for $10 worth of stuff on Amazon. I'm very disappointed. I mean, obviously it wasn't going to be like my Casho $350 shears. I wasn't expecting it to be that much, but I was like, okay, maybe. Maybe it's something that I can keep at home. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have anything else to say about this, except that I'm really, really disappointed. These shears do cut a straight line if that's all you need, but it does kind of chew the hair here at the tip. Spend a few more dollars and get something that is more worth it. That's that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoy this content, let me know what else you wanna see below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.